Morning, everybody. Jason, Hollis Farms. It ain't too awful far from daylight. Doing something a little different we ain't done in a while. I'm fixing to go find me a spot to get. I got a good idea where I'm gonna get. Kinda gonna call this maybe a observation sit. I'm just gonna try to kinda get ease back into the game and see what all I can do. This is day number nine after back surgery. Oh, all I'm gonna carry is my binoculars and this camera. <clears throat> I need to carry a tripod, but I just don't want to carry too much yet. Just want to kind of ease in there. Put my binos on my harness. Probably won't even use them because instead of looking, I'll be trying to film them. So some of the camera work, if we get to see anything this morning, it may be a little shaky. Uh, but, you know, at least we're going to try to get back in the game and see if we can see something. It's pretty cool this morning. Going to end up being mid, low 40s by daylight so he's back in here and see if we can't get in this ball game and see what's going on
and loaded. I hate spooking deer, but they are walking right now early. Oh, dog got to blowing. Hope that footage on that infrared was pretty good. We may not get no more at all this snorting and blowing, but we're going to hang tight and see what happens. Maybe it'll be all right.
always looking good in these saltos. Y'all can see these trees that I sprayed starting to die. We may have to spray some more, but boy, I like it. It's hard to see these deer out there in that where it's growing up in the tall grass. But boy, I like it. It's gonna be all right. I just spotted another buck out there. I can't find him now. That tall grass is doing just what we wanted to do. If we get it up in the top of one of them sawtooths, we'll be able to see down in it. He's fixing to walk across. There he goes. Man, if he's up 25 foot, it'd be good. 20 foot. Just barely can see them from here. See that ladder stand. Whew. All right, y'all, that was a fun morning hunt right there. The wind last night when I looked at the weather was supposed to be like north northwest but when i got up this morning that's why i'd hate hunting in the morning there's still quiet mornings of the the excuse me the wind's just barely blowing boy it makes it tough because them deer were just barely getting my wind it was i would call it this morning what they should have called it was more light and bearable <clears throat> just had a little swirl to it sometime coming out of that east and it was it was hurting us but we saw a lot of deer this morning some pretty nice bucks i hope that uh one thing i like about this big camera here is got that infrared on it <clears throat> i don't know if i've ever filmed deer with it like that but anyway i hope that footage turned out pretty good them two little bucks fighting and whatnot they was just they moved the whole time we was there there was a couple trying to move when I was getting down a while ago and I eased out of there, the sawtooths there are working out just right. I got them lanes down through there we can shoot. And the grass and all is getting tall in there. They think they're covered. And where I'm sitting in that shooting house, my plan really is to be up 20 foot or so in one of them sawtooths where I can see down in it. And uh, that'd be some fun hunting. I won't get to do it this year. Probably won't be able to get back in the saddle this year, but... At least we got to go and do what we did. I had about, um, I don't know, probably a half mile both ways walking and uh, sitting for about three hours. <clears throat> My back is sore 
And I don't think it's the walking. I think it's the sitting in that chair. I was sitting in a plastic chair. I don't know. But anyway, sat there probably too long. But that was fun. Deer moving the whole time. Golly. The only thing we'd lack was having a rifle with us. And we could have got one. But all I told you was my binoculars and my camera this morning. So I'm going to be getting that rifle out before long though. All right, let's go ahead and get to today's Bible verse. We are in Psalm chapter 112, verse 7. Still on the word fear. He will not fear evil, he will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. All right, so here's what I'm working on now. <clears throat> I know we're going to be on the ground or in a shooting house for quite some time now so when i got this big camera this is my my main hunting camera canon xa11 this tripod i got with it and i'm always trying to get lighter it's a super super nice tripod this is one of my original tripods that i used with get this camera out this this is what I did most all my video and with this is my second one when I first started four five years ago whatever it was and this is the tripod that it came with it and it also had a little deal that slid over here where you could do your zooming and all in power and just like this so when I got my better camera I used this tripod for a little while but boy it's just heavy and actually when you're <clears throat> when you're turkey hunting sitting on the ground it's kind of tall you can get it lower than that but it just kind of gets spread out and i really like this and i took the remote uh a remote whatever you want to call it hand controls off and put it on this little tripod but i'm just trying to decide for deer hunting this is a lot better head that the camera bolts to on this oh uh, but you get heavy and but since we're not going to be carrying a stand i might deal with it and use that tripod because i'm telling you that is a this one's pretty solid it's just a little lighter and that's the one i'm about one i'm going to use during turkey season because i want to be light and i may end up now but <clears throat> what i'm trying to rig up now i got to decide between the two tripods we know we'll be filming that and i'm filming right now with the the canon what is this a gx g7x i really like this camera <clears throat> it's kind of my everyday deal but i want to have a camera like i usually carry some kind of action type camera uh, or whatever that i put on the tripod pointing back at me because so y'all can kind of see what i might be doing when it's time to shoot and all that and uh I, at one time i was filming every day with the osmo i love the uh angle and the view the wide angle view of this but normally the audio is not real good at all on the osmo action or the gopro it just just not as good so i had this mic that i had on top of the osmo and in and out of tractors and everything see it's got tape on it i broke it broke the mount but i got that and then i've also got a light that plugs into it you have to use this case because it's got two spots there to shoes or whatever they call them but i ordered this little mic the other day for the osmo and if it'll work as good as this one and it probably will it don't take a lot fixing to do some testing i'll be using this one and then i'll probably what i do with that I just had it. What'd I do with it? I got a mount mount I'm looking for. Let me just go find it real quick. I had put it back in my I see a lot of people using little tripods or some of these you can twist and hang like you want to, but I like if I'm gonna put it on the tripod for sure, I like this ram mount. This thing you can undo it right here and it swivels on this ball and all right there. And I'm fixing to rig it up to go and i've done that a lot during turkey season sometimes i get lazy and want to get lighter and don't carry it with me but i i can i can have this big camera going here and have the the uh gopro or osmo action whatever clamped to here pointing back so y'all can see what i got going on if 
I'm drawing my bow, shooting rifle, calling turkey, shooting shotgun. So I like to make these things as good as I can. It gets to be a mess. I mean, it's a lot of junk. And this is my main camera bag, and I had this old camera in it. I think there's a GoPro down in here. I've acquired a bunch of stuff since I started just trying to make this thing better. Um, I had thought about getting me a mirrorless camera, and I think Brian got one the other day he's going to play with. But I think as far as self-filming, I have watched tons and tons and tons of video. And the self-filming people really like the video style type camera because, I mean, all you got to do is uh yeah i can have it plugged up hit on it cuts it on and then record and then i can focus with it i got to work with that a little bit and then the zoom and all right there and you can have all that right there really that really makes a difference if you had the dlsr type camera or a mirrorless type or whatever you got to push it and all this you don't have a remote so i'm gonna probably stick with this as far as my main camera and then this g7x is not a bad camera at all it zooms pretty good and then the osmo and then of course you always got your phone a lot of people don't think about it but this is a mount that you can that your phone goes on and you can use that phone's got a super camera super camera in but i don't got this thing so jumbled up i'm fixing to get a little better organized oh and then we got the uh i am working on this the tactic cam i played with it a bunch last night i'm gonna have a mount on i got a mount on my bow where the stabilizer is and i missed a couple of turkey shots this year because i didn't have that on because sometimes you have to swing and can't move the camera doing the self-filming and then i've also got a mount that goes on my scope and it's got mirror deals in there and when i zoom in whatever power on my scope that's what y'all will be looking at with that camera so i'm gonna play with that some but just trying to get organized because i'd be in a tree all the time right now but i'm not gonna be so i gotta figure out the best way to do this and be on the ground i know this is the best way for if you're in a shooting house but i just really i wish sat in one a while this morning and just don't like it and as my back gets better we're gonna end up playing on the ground until i can get up in a tree but anyway i know somebody's probably gonna say something but before i had surgery i stocked up on dr pepper so i'd have them when i needed them all right i'm gonna go to work on some of this stuff. what are you doing hmm? being crazy come on Hey, hey boo -boo. What's you doing? Huh? What's you doing? <laughs> All right, y'all, I meant to tell y'all earlier. Oh, um, I was looking through my trail camera picture. I guess it's my trail camera pictures this morning. I got one, one that's uh, right by the hog trap in case the battery kind of goes dead and kind of give me an idea of what's going on there was five or six hogs that came through there so i don't know if they went under the trap or not because the battery's dead had several cloudy days and i ain't been able to go i ain't supposed to drive so i figure in the next few days i'm gonna have to get cody and uh we're just gonna have to ease down there and let him put the corn out and put a new battery in it and then we'll trap them and figure out what to do from there. Uh, but that's the only action I've seen in there a while. One of them was a big one and looked like four smaller ones. All of them was over a hundred pounds, it looked like. But so, oh man, where did that sneak up from? Uh, a little wild hog action gonna be coming for sure. And uh, had a good hunt this morning to be sitting there with, with no weapon. Oh, uh, but anyway, deer moves good. Wind kind of messed with us just a little bit, but if we was shooting, we could have, especially with a rifle, we'd have had one down and played with PJ a little bit and I fooled with the cameras and I think I got all that kind of situated the way I want to do it for hunting on the ground. I just got to get to the point to where I can lift just a little bit more. My next step after this five pounds is 15 pounds for a while. So 15 pounds I can kind of deal with. Uh, probably end up with the lightweight tripod and big camera and that may be it whatever we have to do and then a rifle and sit on the ground a little stool or something i got a, another little stool 
that I can use and just back up against the tree. So uh, by the time I get this brace off, hopefully, what's the, today's day nine, so hopefully in four or five more days I can get this brace off. But I may have to wait a little bit longer. I'm not sure what he's going to say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably call him before my appointment and kind of see what he thinks. But anyway, I'm about to go down and call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching out of here.